Hey guys, Modern Country Mama here, realizing that I need to make dishwasher powder. Now, my recipe consists of washing soda, borax, and salt. Where's my citric acid? Well, actually, I have learned a trick here in Florida. I do not mix my citric acid in with my regular recipe because if you are at all familiar with making bath bombs, you'll notice it does something called a bloom. The, the humidity in the air will react, the citric acid and the alkalis, and render a lot of it inert. It won't, a good portion of the dishwasher powder won't be as effective as if you kept these separate. So, for my tip today, do not, do not buy your citric acid in your grocery store unless it's a bulk store because this guy right here is as you can see 10 pounds non-gmo made to be used in organic food it's 100 percent pure and a ton ton cheaper than you're gonna get in those little ball jars that you see either in the canning aisle or the baking aisle I will put a link or whatever here letting you know how much it actually how much I actually paid for it and guys seriously 10 pounds will last you a while unless of course you're making bath bombs and you'll go through it faster but still this is an amazing deal compared to what you will get on the grocery store aisle way way cheaper now as I stated, my invoice here doesn't have the amount, so I will show it to you on either side. I want you guys to have a great day, and remember, just because you're buying it online doesn't necessarily make it evil. <laughs> anyway, if y'all want, I will go ahead and show you my recipe for a laundry powder if you let me know you want to. If not, I won't bore you with it. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.